Hi friends, welcome to the sixth video of pharmacovigilance series. In the previous video, we discussed the sources of adverse effect reports in the post-market stage. In this video, we shall take up the topic of causality assessment with Amrita. So Amrita, let's start the discussion with the question, what is causality assessment all about? There must be a cause behind every adverse reaction and the root cause identification is a critical aspect of pharmacovigilance. Okay. Causality assessment refers to the evaluation of whether the occurrence of an adverse reaction is because of the administered medicine mm -hmm. or not. Okay. How is the causality assessment performed? There are a number of methods which can be used to assess the causal relationship between the medicine treatment and medicine reaction. Okay. Here I have listed few methods. Okay. The first one is expert judgment. Mm -hmm. This method is commonly used by clinicians where they try to study the link between the particular treatment and the occurred adverse reaction. Okay. This kind of assessment is purely based on the previous knowledge and experience of the clinician in the relevant field. Okay. The second one is algorithms. This includes set of specific questions with associated scores mm -hmm. for calculating the likelihood of a cause effect relationship between the medicine and the adverse reaction. Okay. There are many algorithms developed for causality assessment, mm -hmm. but no single one is universally accepted. Okay. The most widely used algorithms are WHO scale and Naranjo scale. Okay, got it. Can you explain one of these algorithms and how the scoring method actually works? Yes. Have a look at this slide. This is Naranjo scale, okay. which has 10 questions. For each question, the answer can be yes, no, or don't know. Okay. And there are assigned scores for these answers. Now, according to the total score, the likelihood of occurrence of an adverse reaction mm -hmm. due to a particular drug treatment is estimated. Okay. So, if the total score is greater than or equal to 9, then it indicates that there is a definite relationship between the adverse effect and the medicine concern. Correct. And uh, if the total score is between 5 to 8, then there is a high probability of a causal relationship between medicine and adverse effect. Yes. Okay. So, how does it work for drug safety? It is always preferable to identify the medicines which are performing bad and hence taking the corrective steps to prevent further damage is important. Makes sense. Now, as we know, the objective of pharmacovigilance is to ensure safe and effective use of medicine. Mm -hmm. Causality assessment works toward finding out the exact medicine which has caused a particular adverse reaction. Right. Thus, causality assessment helps in identifying the culprit medicines. And that's how causality assessment is helpful in fulfilling the objective of pharmacovigilance. Very relevant. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you. So this brings us to the end of the discussion on causality assessment. In the next video, we will discuss the topic of MEDRA. Thanks for watching.